over time, in case you haven't been paying attention, KTSM, the only local station traveling with this 6-1 UTEP football team to Florida this week. And when you look up and down that roster, Miners roster, a lot of local players who used to star on 9 overtime, now making an impact with the Miners. 9 overtime's Colin Deaver reports. As the borderlands standing as an underrated recruiting stronghold has slowly taken shape over the last few years, UTEP has been able to dip its toes into the talent pool. Today, 27 players from either El Paso or Southern New Mexico play for the Miners, many of whom play big roles for this UTEP team that with five games remaining has hopes of a Conference USA championship. Beginning on Saturday against Florida Atlantic, the borderland boys hope to have a lot to say regarding that Conference USA title that the Miners hope to get. feels good to just embrace the city and me being black and Mexican, you know, just embracing our culture, embracing the city, and it's just like, all of us are doing pretty good. From Parkland's tank, Dion Hankins, to Mont Widow lineman Bobby DeHaro, and Oregon Mountain's Forrest McKee, former Borderland prep stars litter the Miners roster, and they're making an impact. Being able, like, for some of these guys, play in front of our families and play in front of our friends, it's really cool, because now I got people texting, like, my high school coaches come to the games and stuff. You know, I think it's a really big deal. Hankins is one of the most important players on the team. Others like Austin grad Will Rodriguez play a big role in the scout team. Then there's guys like Ray Flores, who's worked his way up the roster and is finally making an impact. Been a diehard since day one. Red bleed, blue and orange. And, you know, I've been here when we had to win no games. I've been here when we won a few, and I've been here when we went bowling. So, you know, it's really special to actually be a part of it and, you know, play a big role in the team. So. You know, it's, it's, it means the world to me. Like Flores, multiple members of the team were here in 2017 when UTEP went 0-12, but now things have come full circle. The Miners are going bowling this year, and the local boys are hoping to bring even more to the Sun City. We finally got a roll in, and uh, I mean, the city of El Paso is hyped, and you can tell like it's a different atmosphere out here, so... Uh, it's a blessing for me to be playing for my hometown. The Borderland players on this UTEP roster are hoping to have a lot to say when the Miners take the field on Saturday against FAU. If they win, they'll get the 7-1 and one and set up perhaps the biggest home game since 2005 next Saturday against number 23 UTSA. Perhaps the college game day crew will come hang out with the 9 overtime fellas next week. Until then, in Boca Raton, I'm Colin Deaver for 9 overtime. Guys, back to you. Yeah, sign me up for that, Colin. Thank you. Back to the highlights.